Hello and welcome to another episode of Isku Talks. In this episode we are talking about this bad boy here that looks exactly like Kabo Wolf King GT, but it's not. It's GTR. It's a newer version of GT. And okay, let's discuss some of the things that have changed on a new model and some of the brilliant things that are still on from the previous model. And first on the list are headlights. Headlights on GT are the best headlights that I so far tried on electric scooter, at least when we're talking about stock headlights. Front horn is also brilliant and it's positioned in a perfect spot compared to, let's say, Nami Burn E, where position of the horn is really, really badly designed because all the mud and all the dirt from the road is hitting that horn, gets in there, so you need to clean it every now and then. Also, it's coming with new, something like hybrid CST tires. They're pretty similar to tires that come on a Kugo M4 Pro that were actually really good on the road and off the road. And it's coming with a new throttle and the stock throttle that came on GT was really, really bad. Like I replaced it literally next day because it was just, no, may, maybe someone likes it, but I didn't like it at all. Now here on this second picture, we can also see knobs on uh, top of the suspension. Those are so that you can adjust your front suspension. Rear suspension is also adjustable. I'm going to show you that a little bit later. And we can see a handle on a deck and yeah, the battery is removable now. And we see a small combination lock there. I'm going to talk about the combination lock just a little bit later, but I'm absolutely happy to see that Kobo joined Dualtron and now is making high performance scooters with removable batteries because for example, I never charge a scooter at home. I always charge them in a workshop uh, because of, of course, potential fire hazard. And uh, the thing that I like with removable, removable batteries is that now I can grab that battery, bring home the battery and just charge battery well at home. And if something happens, let's, let's say that I'm preparing for the worst case scenario, I can fill my bathtub with the water and if something happens, I'm just going to grab that battery and throw it into a bathtub and stop that fire immediately. Or otherwise, I can keep my scooter at home and just take a battery with me to work, charge it there in work and bring it back, back home. I don't need to bring around the whole scooter. So that's absolutely brilliant thing. And that's one thing that I, to be honest, I would actually like to see on all the scooters just to have those removable batteries. But I think that the industry is actually going into that direction and that pretty soon we're going to start seeing scooters that will have removable batteries all the time. Now, looking on the left hand side, we can see actually uh, that they replaced the kickstand because the kickstand that came on the GT, I absolutely hated it. And I think I did say that in one of the videos that I literally wanted to grab an angle grinder and just cut that off. And I'm actually going to show you difference in one of the coming pictures. Unfortunately, one of the downsides that I still see on GTR that I was actually hoping that is going to be improved are tinted uh, indicators and the taillight. Now, okay, maybe they're going to be using uh, brighter LEDs, but on GT, those indicators were absolutely useless during the daytime because it was super difficult to see them. Now, when it comes to display, I'm not sure is there any difference when it comes to display the layout looks exactly the same like on GT. And now we're coming to the uh, rear wheel and uh, rear fork. And you can clearly see here that this scooter is now even higher than GT that was already high enough. And uh, lots of people started joking about it. And yeah, I, I, I would agree that is maybe a little bit too high. Uh, because I had one situation last year only when I got my GT and absolutely forgot that it's higher than any other scooter that I was driving before that. 
so I was going into a park and there was a gate to enter a park and uh, I forgot how taller I am so I actually hit the gate frame with my head luckily I had a full face helmet so you know I didn't get uh, injured except for a bit of a pain in my neck and luckily I didn't have any cameras on my helmet because well that camera would be probably destroyed you know now on this picture we can see that there is now adjustable rear suspension as well as far as I remember I think that Nami came first with those suspensions now Kabu is following up even that I said so many bad things about Nami I like to see new technologies coming out there on the market so you know big shout out to Nami for bringing this big shout out to InMotion for bringing adjustable height Dualtron for bringing a first performance scooter with removable battery I like the way industry is going that you know we are getting better and better scooters every day and hopefully in the next couple of years we are gonna get you know some really great scooters out there that are gonna be just absolutely perfect um, as I said already tire tire looks really promising and if I don't get a GTR myself I'm gonna think about it I'm considering getting that that one as well uh, mainly for off-roading because the folding mechanism on GT is super safe and secure and it's absolutely brilliant so it is a really really great off-road scooter where I don't need to be afraid that you know my stem is gonna snap or or something like that now here on this picture we can actually now see comparison the height between well on the left it's not GT it's Wolf King on the right is GTR it's much higher but we can also see comparison of the kickstands and comparison of tires yeah those new tires look really really interesting and yeah I will be definitely getting them and trying them they should fit on uh, Nami Burn E on all of the scooters that have 11 inch tires those tires should fit so as soon as they're available I'll get a set of them I'll fit them on InMotion RS if I'm gonna have it or maybe on Nami Burn E and probably make a video also how to fit them on and tell you how they perform now there's nothing new when it comes to uh, controllers well at least where they're placed so they're placed at the same location where they were before but the difference is that now they the controller is in a in a case waterproof case and it's mounted in a waterproof case that's mounted on a frame of the scooter so uh, I'd say that probably you know when it comes to waterproofing there shouldn't be too much of the worry with the uh, GTR even the GT is already pretty waterproof like it's handling rain and things like that pretty well uh, when it comes to throttle as I said like it, it just looks weird without the display it looks weird but it's still better option than the throttle that was out there on the GT by default when it comes out to the market then we'll know the best uh, how it's gonna perform of course there is no point of putting a display on a throttle when you have already one display on the handlebars and now we're getting back to the battery so there are if I see correctly two charging ports and that lovely handle to take the battery out and you can see here that combo lock and uh, I'm quite disappointed with that combo lock to be honest because I've seen that on some of the cheaper scooters and they get rusted and stuck at some stage they get you know all the all the dirt in there so uh, I was expecting maybe something a little bit more premium okay maybe this one is actually better build quality be better made so maybe there's not going to be that that problem with them but you know overall i would i would prefer to see something like a, a little bit more premium and um, also we can see on the side of the battery we can see that the battery actually has some reinforcement for the battery casing for the battery housing so uh yeah i i i like seeing that 
and there is no cables on the battery. So there is just one connector on the battery. Now, I'm just kind of thinking about that. Okay, if the, there is a connector, a fixed connector in a frame and fixed connector in a battery, that's a cool thing because you don't need to bother with cables. But then that battery has to be really tight in that casing. Otherwise, uh, if there is any movement, one of those connectors are going to start having problems. And what I can see here on uh, just on the right from the connector look could be like maybe a small display that's going to be maybe showing a battery voltage or something. Uh, but we'll see when the when the scooter comes out to the market. Overall, really, really interesting scooter. I am quite excited of maybe getting one myself. It seems like it would be a good choice, as I said, compared to, to GT. Like my GT didn't came from factory in a perfect condition. I needed to adjust a folding mechanism and some things weren't right on a, on a such a price scooter. Like on a folding mechanism, none of the balls didn't have a, even a blue tread lock. Like blue, tre blue tread lock, would do an absolutely brilliant job. But the position of the battery, position of the controllers, headlights are absolutely brilliant. Mud guards are not the best. That's another thing that you know, I, you know, it should be improved. Even that, you know, if the scooter is made primarily for off-roading, anyone who's doing off-roading is used to be covered in mud. So, you know, if it is mainly made for off-roading, then yeah, why would they need to even bother with improving mudguard? But, you know, we might see some aftermarket uh, mudguard add-ons or something like that. I I'm pretty sure that something like that is going to happen. So, yeah, very well. Another thing that I would like to see is maybe a little bit higher uh, uh, handlebars, a bit longer stem. The only real downside of uh, GT and GTR is actually, you know, falling. When it's folded down, it's super difficult to carry it around. Uh, it's super long and uh, it's quite heavy scooter. So, uh, yeah, that would be all for this episode, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. And uh, I hope that the guys from... Uh, Kabu is going to see this video and maybe bring some of those improvements on the next scooter. If I get a hands on one of them, I'll be more than happy to make a couple of videos about it. I will probably get my hands on one of them sooner or later. And well, till next time, stay safe out there and respect other road users and check the links in the description and buy us a coffee. Bye bye.